Welcome to Aspen Hisis V8.8. Today we are going to learn some of the very basics of the Aspen Hisis. So let's start with the Aspen Hisis and uh, click on the file and then on the new and then in the case. It may take some time to load and here it is. Now first of all add the components. We are going to add the following components according to the given question. The question here is we have a stream containing ethane, propane, butane and n-butane. So let's go and add the components ethane add here it is and then propane add and then ibutane add and then n-butane add so these are the components now get on with it and go to the fluid package we, uh, we are given here the, the fluid package Bang Robinson but we can also use the method assistant here the method assistant to uh, select the suitable select uh, that how we can select the suitable equation of states or fluid package for our calculations so click on the method assistant button here it is it will ask some questions and you have to give some answers based upon your component type or your process type so I am specifying my component type and I have a hydrocarbon system no I don't have any hypo components so he thinks that you can use the pang robinson equation ok so add and select the pang robinson equation here it is ok now go to the simulation tab Now we can start our simulations by just drag it into the white area. Here it is our stream material stream one. It is all empty now. We have to fill it. So double click on it and go to the composition. In composition we are given composition in the question 15, 20, 65. Now add 0.15. Enter. 0 0.20 enter 0 0.60 enter and the last one and butane 0 0.05 enter ok these are the mode fractions and click ok now we have to apply the conditions the conditions we were given here 50 degree Fahrenheit and atmospheric pressure 50 degree Fahrenheit just change the units here 50 degrees Fahrenheit just place the cursor for a second on it and you will see 10 degree centigrade and 50 degree Fahrenheit now the pressure is atmospheric pressure 1 and select the atmospheric pressure ATM ok so he is saying unknown flow rate the flow rate we are given here is 100 pound moles per hour so select molar flow 100 pound moles per hour ok we are ok to go the green signal uh, the green color shows that we are ok to go cross it and see the next thing the stream is to be compressed to 50 psia and then cool to 32 degree Fahrenheit so we need a compressor for the compression process Just take the compressor and put on the white area. White area. Double click on it. Now we are just going to connect the stream. Inlet stream 1. Just name the energy stream E1. And outlet stream, I'm going to give it the name E. Here. Unknown GT. Now we must specify the pressure, how much pressure we are going to give it to the stream. So specify the pressure 50, I think, I think 50 psi. 50 psi. Okay, and he calculated. You, you can see that the ISIS calculator itself 
all the other variables and data okay just cross it okay, cross it okay this is the energy stream we are providing and this is our product stream from the compressor <laughs> and then cool to 32 degree for high for this purpose we are using using a cooler now again double click on it in the stream is stream 2 here energy stream is named the energy stream e2 and the outlet stream stream 3 and he's saying now unknown delta p parameters okay so the neglect the pressure drop inside the condenser so the cooler or condenser we have no pressure drop so i am saying that delta p is over zero the resulting uh, so here we are worksheet and in our stream 3 we have the same 3 44.7 kilopascal okay. so uh, and we are cooling it to the temperature 32 degree Fahrenheit here it is given 32 degree Fahrenheit okay we are okay to go far um, to move forward you can see this is 32 degree Fahrenheit and 0 degree centigrade okay let's just cross it and the next thing in the question we are doing the resulting vapor and liquid are to be separated as the two product streams okay so now we need a separator here is the separator just drag it and put it here again double click on it and the stream 1 stream 3 sorry coming from that is coming from the con condenser here stream 3 is coming from the condenser here and the vapor uh, we will name the vapor outlet stream V and the liquid outlet stream capital L so he says ok and now we are ok to go move forward just cross it and simply you can check here. here we have 10.59 molar flow of the vapors with temperature 0 degree centigrade and 344.7 kilopascal. Just double click on it. And uh, now you, uh, you can see that what was asked by the question. What are the flow rates and molar compositions of two product streams? Methane, propane, ibutane, and propane, vapor and liquid molar compositions now that is what we are going to find out from the high mm. just click on the composition and these are the molar compositions mole fractions and in the vapor phase and liquid phase in the stream we have the following composition and these are the mole fractions and here you can see what are the flow rates and molar compositions of two product streams. Molar compositions. He's asking about the molar compositions. So these are the mole fractions, and these are the vapor phase and liquid phase in our vapor stream. So HiSys is very useful in calculating these. And we just run a simple simulation process here, and we have our answer. So we can also. okay so uh, in the case study of this simple high simulation uh, we in the we will do the case study of this simple high uh, high simulation process in the next video and thank you very much